Hey guys, welcome to Cricket Fanatics Magazine. I'm Khalid Moeden and another exclusive interview. We've been quite busy today, did quite a few of them. And um, today I'm going to bring you Saral Evia. And really excited about this because I haven't had a chance to talk to him and actually interview him before. So first and foremost, welcome to the platform. Thanks very much, Khalid. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it's good to be on yeah. and uh, let's, uh, let's have a good chat. Yeah, cool. So first and foremost, I just want to talk to you about how it's been to be out in the middle again. Obviously, there's been quite a long break and uncertainty at first on when we were going to start and when we we're going to get cricket on the way. But now you guys are in the middle and performing well and you particularly performing really well. Yeah, I think it's just nice to get back into a competitive environment again, uh, especially after everything that's happened. Um, so just to be back on the field, I guess, um, you know, after our off-season, uh, it's been a long off-season, really. Um, so to be back in a competitive environment, playing cricket, obviously, do, you know, doing your job is, um, yeah, it's, in, it's incredibly uh, uh, special again. I think it feels like, um, I think a lot of people feel like they've come out of retirement, to be honest, just because it's been such a long break. Um, and yeah, just to get back into the swinging swing of things um, has been yeah great. It's a great feeling just to be just to be back playing cricket again. To be honest, there are so many moments, obviously, in your career so far that really stand out. But I mean, the particularly your performance for the Dolphins against such a great, great team as well. That on paper everybody was saying, no, you know, the Lions will <laughs> be a team that's really difficult to beat and. The way you performed was phenomenal, and it almost seems like everybody was looking for that mo that particular way to crack the code of how to get back from COVID straight into performances again. Um, you seem to have cracked the code. Um, would you say this is one of your best performances in your career so far? Um, I think, having mentioned it uh, earlier this week in an interview, I think it's probably one of the special ones for me, just because of, I know every, like I've mentioned as well uh, in an interview this week, everyone's been through different situations during this uh, COVID and this pandemic um, that's been going on. But for me personally, mentally, uh, I've obviously also been struggling through one or two things in my personal life. So I think this, this, this innings was probably my most special one. Just um, obviously I wasn't too sure where I was going. Um, you know, in my life or in my career, um, you know, with this pandemic and, and, and after it. So to have done what I've done, um, yeah, I think it was probably up there with one, one of my most special um, innings is, um, yeah, to date, to be honest. Hopefully it's my the second best one. My best is yet to come still, hopefully. Not everybody is playing sport. I mean, obviously you guys are like the lucky few that are allowed to go out to the middle. And you said over there that you really struggled during that period. Can you give us some insight or maybe give some tips to, to the guys out there that maybe went through a similar situation that you did and struggled as well during this pandemic? Yeah, I think if I think to, to try to keep busy um, is, is a key thing during this pandemic. Um, obviously, during lockdown, people weren't, we, we, we were restricted to your house, um, to be honest. So there's not much to do. It was it was basically just to get to speak to family a lot. Um, kind of, I think you start learning things about each other a bit more. Your partner, your family. Um, so you know, speak to people. Um, people. I think there's a lot of a lot of. Um, I think there's a lot of sportsmen out there uh, and sportswomen that are maybe going through mental challenges that actually don't talk about it enough. Um, and you know, maybe they're but um, they feel a bit scared or, or insecure. Um, and, and I don't think people need to be. People need to talk about it. So for me, it was just a case of, of speaking to my partner, speaking to my, my family that I, that I was around, um, keeping in contact with friends and just trying to stay as busy for as long as possible during the day um, because it's easy to just sit around and, and kind of waste away, I, I think. Um, so, yeah, doing a bit of reading, um, you know, like I said, just just interacting with, with my partner and, and my family as much as possible during those days. So that would be a little tip for people. It's, it's not a massive thing, but um, I think it goes a long way uh, if you do those small things. I think that's a great tip for myself as well, because I mean, when uh, this is a new company that I just started. I mean, Kivanatics Magazine is only a year and a bit um, with regards to age and the YouTube channel itself is also quite new as well with the content. And I also struggled with that mentally as well to, to get through what is going to happen? Where do we get what we do next? How am I going to continue doing um, content, of course, with no cricket happening? And 
it, it was really tough. So, I mean, for you to go out there and perform the way you did, uh, that's really inspirational that you actually went through a difficult period and got out of that and performed the way you do and performed the way you did. I want to talk about that particular innings with Keegan Peterson. Now, he, he mentioned something to me. He said that he spoke to you and he said it was like a monkey off his back um, when he got that century. Um, for you, it was an important knock for you too. After losing a, your, your opening partner so soon, what was key to your performance? What was key to that amazing partnership between the two of you? Um, what sort of conversations did you guys have in that in the middle? Yeah, I think what we've kind of realized at the Dolphins is we've kind of um, worked on you know playing to our strengths and and getting used to or becoming better in our own conditions. Um, so we worked really hard on that in the off season. So you know when I when it got to that innings, um, getting out in the middle, I, I kind of just you know. You, you're batting here on your home conditions at Kingsmead. It's a test ground. It's a beautiful ground. Um, good conditions. Uh, you just got to back back your strength, back what you've been practicing throughout the whole off season, uh, and I think things will take care of itself. And it, it actually did. Um, so there was no. I think I think there weren't any nervous jitters in the beginning, um, like there usually are. Which is it was a very very strange, um, a yeah, very strange day for me. I, usually I get a bit nervous and I try couple of breathing um, techniques before I go to bat but that day it was I was relaxed and everything was was very comfortable um, no like I said I wasn't nervous I wasn't really sweaty and so it was yeah it was it was nice and comfortable um, batting with with Keegan as well um, you know he's such a he's such a good guy he's, he's a funny character um, you know so he, he makes he makes batting he makes it a lot more fun than 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 it uh, I suppose it should be really because it's it's hard work but he makes it fun. Just chatting to him, he's he's always got a little chirp and a joke here and there. Um, I mean, he he hit he hit a six this um, <laughs> this four day game, and that's the only shot he spoke about for the four days. As he was telling everyone that he had the biggest six in the game, um, and uh, it was funny. It's just it, it, he kept me entertained during the innings. Um, and you need guys like that on, on your side. You need them uh, while you're batting. You need a batting partner like that just to keep you nice and relaxed. Um, yeah, and it, he just had some flow. So, yeah, he's, he's a good guy to bat with. And I, I really enjoyed that innings with him um, just because he's, he's, I mean, like I said, he's, he keeps you nice and calm, relaxed with, with all his little chirps here and there. But, um, yeah, you can see it in his performances how, you know, how, how well he did bat. And, um, you know, it was an absolute pleasure to share that partnership with him. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at the Dolphin side, quite a young side. I mean, even yourself, you're one of the more experienced guys, but you're only 30. You still have some time ahead of you. Um, what is it like to be in a side where you're one of the more senior guys, but you, you're looking around you and there's so much young talent over there? Um, obviously, a young captain as well, like Marcus Ackerman. Um, what is it like to play? Um, how, how was he as a captain so far? How has he been in the changing room, etc.? Basically, just just add on to that what I've just asked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we've obviously got a, a nice a nice um, mixture of guys in our squad with, in, in terms of ages. Um, I think there's a there's I think three or four of us that are, are, are 29 or 30, 31. Um, you know, so the the it's nice to have some some youth in our in our team and. It, it just feels like there's a good energy on our side with those young guys. They bring a lot of energy, different energy. Um, you know, we get the, as the older guys, there's now new chirps in the changing room or on the field. It's not just the old, same ones that we hear the whole time. So, you know, the, the, like guys will say, the banter is very good from them now. Energy outside, so, and into the squad. So, you know, the off season just showed that as well. We bonded quite nicely, we got back into nets. Um, you know, we learned a lot from each other. And, and yeah, you know, spending all that time, you know, around the young guys, it kind of makes you feel a bit younger as well. Um, yeah, they always chirp me about hair loss and age, whatever. Um, uh, so to be around the youth makes me feel inside. Of, I keep feeling younger every day when I'm around them. Um, but your yeah, Akers as well, the captain, he's been, he's been obviously, he's been very good when he when he's taken over or when he started taking over last year. Um, you know, like I said, he's got energy, passion for the game, and yeah, just a good cricketing head on his shoulders. And yeah, so I think it shows in his batting as well. He's, I mean, he came out the other day and just, just batted the way he, Marcus Ackerman does, and um, took the game forward quite nicely. Um, so he does lead by example, um, you know, on the field, and that's what we want as a leader.
So different people have different inspirations. I mean, I did quite a few interviews. I'm like, this, <laughs> this has been, <laughs> it's quite a hectic week. Um, when I spoke to some guys, they said that, no, the inspiration before this four-day series is to get into the national setup. Other guys said, no, my inspiration is just to get as many runs as possible and not focus on that because it, it takes away from my performances and it doesn't keep me focused. Other guys said, no, ga winning games for my franchise is, is the most important thing that is driving me. For you, at this stage in your career, what is the driving factor for you before the series started? Um, what was the driving factor for you to perform? For me, I think, um, you know, I sat down obviously before the season, I to kind of get into a good good headspace again. So for me, it was basically just just about uh, repaying the, the faith that was shown in me by, by the Dolphins and uh, my partner and my family and my friends, the people that the people that support me um and show faith in me and it was just i just wanted to go and enjoy my cricket and do well for them um and that's you know doing well that's basically how i repay their faith uh, and their support in me so that's that was that's that's my motivation at the moment and i think that will be my motivation for for uh, a long time excellent so i want to ask you one thing and there was a debate obviously about who should be test captain, who shouldn't be test captain. There's been columns around. You got one of the guys that has put up his hand actually and said, I would like to be test captain in the future. And that's Keshav Maharaj. He's put in an excellent performance. Do you see that within him? I mean, obviously, I know he's the, the white ball captain for the Dolphins, but do you see that ability within him to be able to be a test captain in the future? Yeah, 100%. I've, I've actually had a chat with Kesh about this when he came out in the news. And I, I, you know, I said to him, I back, I back him um, to do a, to a great job for, for South Africa one day if he does get the opportunity because he's a great leader. Um, you know, he leads by example just in his lifestyle on the cricket field. Um, you know, he, he he's a pure example of what a, a professional cricketer should be. Um, and he's got a good very good cricketing um, brain. Um, so, 100%, if, you know, if he does get the opportunity, I mean, we'd like to see him as a Dolphins family. I think we'd all like to see him um, get that opportunity. Um, but I suppose he's, he's doing well for us. Um, I mean, it would, be, it would be selfish if we said we wanted him a bit longer, but um, no, he's got to go do a job uh, for pro tiers, um, and I'm sure he will do it. So, if he does get that chance, I don't think he'll disappoint uh, in his leadership capabilities. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I just want to get to know your field, what type of person you are, what sort of things do you like enjoy doing. Um, obviously, you said with your partner as well. What are the some and with your family? What are some of the things that you enjoy doing in your downtime? Yeah, in my downtime, um, I've actually become a bit more of a a, a scrappy golfer lately. We try to play as lot as much golf as possible. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, we've got a deal the Dolphins with Mine Edgecom uh, uh, Golf Course Golf Club. Sorry. So we try to play as much golf as possible on our off days. Um, it's just nice, nice uh, to socialize with the guys, um, you know, on off days. Um, it's a nice, relaxed environment. So I, I hack around a bit on the golf course. Um, uh, we challenge each other quite a bit, um, but otherwise, it's I'm very, I'm a very uh, laid back person. Um, so I try to rest as much as possible. I don't, I don't get up to too much. Uh, a couple of walks around the state, um, you know, a couple of coffees with with friends, just catch ups. Um, yeah, I think that my a lot of the, a lot of my teammates say because um, I'm so old, I need to I need to be off my feet for as long as possible when I get the chance. So uh, yeah, I try to rest as much as possible uh, when I get the opportunity, and yeah, I enjoy I enjoy a bit, bit of my own space. Um, so yeah, that's I'm a, I'm a laid back person. I don't uh, I don't get involved in too much um, that I don't need to. Is there something I'm missing with regards to golf? Because there's so many cricketers that love play golf. Um, does it help you actually with cricket or vice versa? How much does cricket actually help you with golf? Yeah, I think I think for some guys it helps their it helps their cricket. I don't know if it uh, if I think cricket actually helps my golf to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, guys love golf. I think it's a nice way. So you know, some people they um, try to take each other's money on the golf course a bit uh, um, and. Um, yeah, so I think it's a nice, also a nice competitive environment for, for guys in that sense. But then also the socializing afterwards with each other, um, you know, just the, the general abuse on the golf course uh, when guys hit bad shots, good shots. You know, it's a, and it's a nice leveler, I suppose. Um, one hole you can, you can play ridiculously well and then the next hole you've, you've bombed out. You've lost two balls. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's a good level, I suppose. Um, and I think that's what keeps guys coming back to play golf.